Another, uh, another guitar for you. Another unboxing. We got one of the cheapest guitars that we could find, Strat style, from Amazon. It's a huge box. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that guitar's in here somewhere. Boy. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. From Fogel. At least they put this stuffing in there to help keep it from bouncing around a lot. But some of these Amazon guitars, they put the uh, the box right in there without any of that stuff in there. We have for you the Folgel ST style guitar. And check-in today it is currently unavailable, but we got it during Prime Day for $89 and uh yeah so hopefully they come back available again I've seen some reviews of them before they look like they're pretty decent we'll see how this one is just straight out of the box won't go through the total unboxing but you get your typical you know whammy bar and your cord and your truss rod adjustments but we're not going to use them now because we're seeing how this thing's out of the box and a uh, very uh, flimsy gig bag. It almost feels kind of like that um, wrapping that's around uh, some TV sometimes where you get it and it has a, like, a little felt wrapping. It seems about, that's about as thick as it is. But you're obviously not buying these guitars probably for, uh, you know, lugging around airports and stuff. And if you do, invest in a better case. The uh, knobs feel pretty good. Switching is pretty good. Has kind of that like bent saddle-ish type of look, but not really. They're solid with like little humps. We'll give you close-ups of it too. It's a uh, mahogany body with a maple neck, which is uh, actually just stained to look like it. it's uh, barbecued or whatever, roasted maple, whatever you've seen on some of these really funny things it's definitely looks like some carelessness uh either you know blemish scuffing just the uh, the paint on there again we'll show you in a close-up it's it's pretty bad but uh there it looks like a mild splitting on the neck possibly even at the neck joint here Big thick neck plate. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this on camera, but there's a little runniness in the paint there. The finish is fine. It's not like uh, scuffed up or anything, but yeah, I can see like waviness in the paint here. Uh, again, a lot of times people will think say you know what do you expect for a guitar that costs 89 dollars but there's some guitars that are coming out there that are cheaper than that that have better qc better quality there wasn't much in the description I'm imagining this is probably a plastic nut these are uh, definitely like super jumbo frets like it's like you can probably see these things from space that's how big they are bigger than i'm uh, accustomed to so probably cause a lot of uh, intonation issues uh, the way I press down but the fret ends feel nice they're not rounded ish they're definitely have some treatment to them but nothing nothing too crazy 
the neck, I mean, the neck feels nice. Um, you can tell off the bat, looks like it's, it's a little flat. I don't know how this one's going to be. I, I never actually noticed this before, but just the way it felt in my hand, if I take and apply a little pressure here back and forth, I can actually feel the truss rod. Let me see if I can get it in the microphone for you. See in post if that picks up that little clicking. It's been sitting here for a while, so it's been at least acclimated to the house. But maybe a truss rod adjustment might might do that good. Let's tune her up. And while I'm doing this, you might as well just go down the bottom and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Maybe that's why the, uh, you could feel the truss rod. The strings were so loose that they weren't even uh, applying any pressure. Overall, the appearance um the look the feel first impression it's not bad um and like i said in previous videos if you haven't seen it's not just good pink that's the tease guitar that you've seen that i'm like uh, in a pink phase this one i'm just being cheap on amazon but uh that tease guitar blew my mind and that's kind of like the, I'm using the benchmark of Stratocaster style guitars is that the affordable range. And I would say this is probably, if that was a five star guitar, this one just on looks and appearances alone, it's probably, I'm gonna say a three. Uh, just uh, because of the, the the paint issues and the the whole truss rod thing going on here, because what kind of edges it out a little bit is the rosewood fretboard kind of bumps it up. If that was just a plain old maple fretboard, probably would knock it down a little bit of a peg. But I'm a sucker for a rosewood, you know, judges it up pretty nice. It'd be nicer if the neck was actually not just stained and it was actually roasted maple. And again, that imperfection back over here. And you'll see all that where I saw it in the, uh, in the close-ups throughout the entire video. Well, let's get some tone samples for you. We're going to start off in the uh, bridge, uh, I'm sorry, the, the neck position. And we'll just run through it real quick.
we'll see in the uh, in post. I can't tell in the room if it's really doing anything tonally with the tone knob over here. Doesn't sound like it's changing it that much, at least in the uh, in the bridge position. I'll check it back up in the uh, in the neck position. It does something there. It does something for the uh, middle. Maybe it's subtle. I can only hear anything. Suffers from that typical G string going out of tune issue. But uh, other than that, I, I push a little hard. So maybe if you're hearing it, um, it is you know possibly going a little, little out of tune when playing, but the intonation actually wasn't that bad. It's not completely spot on, but uh, for the most part, it's actually pretty good. I'll do a little, uh, little crunchity crunch. Expecting anything spectacular out of this one over here. So I had to wrench down the uh, tremolo bar too on this thing because if you go back a little bit, it's too loose to my liking. I like to, to kind of stay in place a little bit and then I can push it away, whereas this is always going to be down hanging out like that. So you can always get I, uh, like tiny little screws and it helps with it so it doesn't get so down wrenching down tight because now you have nowhere to go with this thing whatsoever you can't it's either have it loose or have it completely tight because you can't push it down any more than past this but not expecting uh do this on a clean channel not expecting this thing to stay anywhere near in tune after it's done Yeah, as I expected, you know, well, it's pretty much par for most, most tremolos aren't going to be 
back uh, to where they were, square one after you, you, you do that, especially with the stock strings that came with it. I would like to say that I would probably be keeping this one, but the imperfections alone, that cracking in the, uh, with the truss rod throws me for a little bit of a loop. I don't think I would, uh, you know, hold on to something like this in that condition. Do I think that I would possibly order it again? I think if I didn't have a wide variety of stuff, I probably would. There's definitely better out there. Again, the Tease guitar, unfortunately, we can't compare the sound to it now because I did a whole bunch of modifications to that thing. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? If you haven't seen that video on us modding it, you should check it out. And also check out the original playthrough. There were some sound samples at the end of the mod, but I think that tonally, the sound that the Tease guitar is way much better. Now, the Tease guitar is about $50 more than this guitar, but you're getting so much more with that guitar. And I hate sounding like that I'm the car salesman here and that I work for this company and, and pushing it. I don't, I honestly, I did get that guitar for free. I'll leave a coupon code down below that you can get $5 off of it at the Tease Guitar website. But so far out of everything that I've tested for the price, and the quality can't beat that tonally this thing again if that would be the the pinnacle that we're judging it on that being five this i would say is three three and a half because the switching the knobs they're not that bad i'm not going to open this thing up because you know it's going back but didn't stay in tune too well with the tremolo. The T's didn't do bad at all with that. And some other guitars haven't done so, as bad staying in tune as this did. Let me know what you thought about this guitar. I really wanted to love it. I really thought that uh, I could sneak this one past the misses and keep it. But um, if I'm going to go on a limb and, you know, risk my, you know, for anything, it's going to be for something better than this. A dark, uh, I don't know, I, I don't even think this, this looks to me more like ebony than it does rosewood. It's the thing, you can't really always trust those, uh, those Amazon sites for their descriptions, because they could say whatever they want. Again, thanks for dropping in, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I really think you should do so. We're creating some great content, and it's only getting better. So, You've all been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.